when I get asked what inspired me to dance, I'm always a little bit taken aback. I'm always having to think about this question because for me, I don't have that typical dancer story where you've either gone to the theatre and watched ballet and thought that's what I want to do or you saw someone dance and a specific person inspired you um, because that didn't happen for me. I didn't really ever think, I didn't ever watch ballet and think that's what I want to do before I started to actually do ballet. Um, so for me, I think what inspired me to dance was the people around me and I trained um, at a local dance school until I was 16. So um, everyone at LW, <laughs> I can't say the word now, LWHS, um, School of Dance in Hull. Um, so my teachers there, Lynn Wilson, Heather Shepherdson, um, and the support of that little community around me, I think is what inspired me to dance in the end. Um, I think, you know, the fact that they believed in me and they helped me and they encouraged me and I had the best time ever kind of doing ballet at my local dance school. It was the highlight of my day. It was something that, you know, I would go every single night of the week. Um, had great friends there because everyone there, you know, was interested in the same thing. It was everyone's kind of like escape from school. And I think that community and that environment um, in the end inspired me to dance. You know, it got, I got to 14 years old, probably 13. 13, 14. Um, and it was a genuine question, like, do I want to take this to a career or do I not want to take it to a career? And, you know, my priorities kind of flipped and I got, um, I went to do associate programmes with the Royal Ballet and with Northern Ballet and they kind of even more broadened my kind of vision into the dance world. And yeah, so I, I would say that my inspiration to dance um, was literally who I was surrounded by and the support around me and the fact that every every year that I was training in dance I enjoyed it even more, I loved it even more um, and I just felt really accepted into that little community and yeah I think without without that I don't think I would have been a dancer. And then comes the question why do you dance? And there are so many answers for so many different artists out there of why they do it. But my personal reason why I dance is that feeling that you don't, you can't really get with any other profession. Uh, and I'm talking, I mean, actors and dancers, musicians, anyone in the arts, I think can relate to this. It's not just dancers, but being on stage is a completely surreal and personal experience. And... For me, that feeling of accomplishment after you've finished a performance um, and you've, you know, you've felt like it's gone well, you've nailed the steps that you were worried about, um, or even those shows where, like, for instance, I forgot that I'm even on stage. Literally, for those two and a half hours, however long your performance is, to forget how, to forget everything and just be immersed in the story, be immersed in what you're doing, is such a nice feeling and you genuinely do forget about everything else when your mind is focused on that show during the show everything you, there's there's nothing that can distract you because you're on stage you're thinking about what what your body is doing you think about what your mind is doing you're quick changing at the side before you're running back on again and and you lose all sense of what is outside this little theater that you're in and I love that about dance I love that it is a, a true escape from the world um but not not only that obviously dance brings you so much more than just you know forgetting about the world um it brings you kind of that it brings me the feeling of always working to something else there is never and you could be the principal of, of the royal ballet and you can always work on something there is never a moment where you're thinking yeah that's sorted it's good there's always something that you can work on there's always something that needs to be improved and that can come with some negatives as well because I feel like dancers have a really kind of hard time balancing being super um paranoid and self-conscious of their dancing because they think yeah but my leg wasn't very high or oh but that step wasn't very turned out or all there are so many things that can look technically wrong in a show which you know someone else might not notice but you as a personally as a dancer would be like 
yeah that was wrong or I didn't like that so that that's kind of a negative of it is you know dancers can be overly self-critical which isn't which isn't the best but in the same respect it gives it gives you that sense of always having to work harder and I think that's a really nice trait to have you're never just kind of settled in your job you know there's always something to be working on so yeah the reason I dance is for so many reasons but there is something about this dance world and being a dancer that brings you so many skills and so many kind of benefits that I don't think other jobs can bring.